Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roblox. And today, I am playing a game called Sled Simulator. Now, last episode, uh, I was talking about finding a sledding game to play, and I found one. This is a sled simulator. So, let's go ahead and head over here to ride. Uh, this is apparently where we gotta start, and we're starting with a, uh, plank of wood, apparently. Alright. Ow. No, we've fallen off. Doge. Watch out for the snow. Alright, well, uh, we got, I think, 148 meters. Uh, or is it 54 meters? I don't know which one I'm supposed to look at. I think this is your distance. This might be speed. I'm not sure, but I got $10. That's pretty good for risking our life. I don't know if that's a lot. So over here you can buy for 15 minutes. You can get a times two money booster. Uh, you can also get times two life, I'm assuming. Uh, or you could just like uh, buy the cash itself. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a uh, times two money booster. Because they're uh, pretty cheap. So I'll get a 30 minute one. Okay, so I've just purchased a times two money booster, and I also got 15 minutes of life booster as well. So let's try this again. So we got our speed and distance here. Let's go up this way instead. Oh, actually, that kind of worked. Watch the rock. Okay, that, that worked. Oh, great, we're going on the jump. Oh, no, we've fallen over. We're heading straight for the rock. Ow. Oh, this is not good. Okay, Doge, are you good? How much did we get? $56. That's pretty good. Uh, and that's with the uh, the times two money. Now, let's look at some of the upgrades. Uh, what's this over here? One of 12. Is this like some sort of like sled race or something? I'm not sure what that is. But here's where we can upgrade our board. So, you can get different sleds, which I don't seem to have any upgrades at the moment. Now, we do actually have a daily gift over here. Let's go ahead and claim this. Oh, it's got a whole animation. Oh, 119 coins. Yes. All right, that's good. Uh, I got to find where the uh, the shop is at. Uh, we've got select a map. Wait, there's a summer map? Why would I want to go on the summer map? It's winter time. Okay, so I figured out how you actually buy the stuff. All you have to do is just click on them here, and then it tells you how much it costs. So to get like an actual like sled, it's apparently two thousand dollars. Or you can get a door for five hundred. Uh, you can apparently get a dumpster. Uh, we've also got a shopping cart. That's some pretty crazy sleds. Is that a boat? You can get like a whole boat uh, that you can slide down. There's so many different sleds. What's the best one? Oh, it's a plane. It's ninety nine robux for the uh, the plane pack. Oh, wait, we got a limited time offer. I got a, a lull trail, one hour times two boost, and 25,000 credits. That's a lot of money. We do have armor. I actually can buy this for 100. Uh, what's this one? Oh, I can't buy that one. But I can get some of this armor. So we'll get some armor on there. It's just a little bit of cardboard. So nothing too exciting. Uh, we've got some sort of boosters here that you can get for 500. And then the trails, also cosmetic only, but they're very expensive. So now that I've got my upgraded plank of wood, let's see what I can do now. Uh, let's go over this way. Oh, right. We've already taken 50% damage. Doge, let's watch out for rocks. Oh, no. We're heading straight for one. No, we've lost the cardboard. All right. It's all down to the plank of wood. Oh, it's actually uh, a really good spot. Let's just slide down this way. Hopefully, we don't end up running into any more rocks. It looks like it's a pretty clear area. So, let's just go straight this way. Watch the cone. Ow! That cone just took out my board. Okay, well, that's the furthest I've made it so far. $340. Wow, let's do that again. Alright, so I'm making it pretty far this time. This time, I've actually got some uh, protection left. So hopefully I don't actually run into one of these cones. Oh, I didn't realize there was a gap there. Luckily I was able to slide over it. Uh, we're going at a pretty good speed. It doesn't seem to be going down. Oh, great. This looks like it's a, a huge drop coming up ahead. 
Oh, and I'm heading straight for those rocks. Turn doge. Okay, I dodged them. Oh, there's another one of those power-ups. Oh, it just disappeared. Oh, great. We got to get across this. Okay. Somehow I'm making it. I don't know how. This is the best I've ever gotten. Watch out for the tree. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can make it through the uh, little mountain here. Oh, no. We're slowing down. This is not good. All right, you know what? There's still a, a little bit of a hill here that I can use to gain a little bit of momentum. As long as I don't hit any of these houses. Don't... Why? Really? Um, okay. Well, I think this might be the end. Yeah, that's the end. I got a thousand dollars right there. That's the furthest I've ever gotten. So, you know what? Let's see if I can upgrade my sled now. I still have 20 minutes of money boost. And, uh, two times life as well. Which, I'm not really sure exactly what that does. So... Uh, I might not buy another one of those. This brand new sled that I've got is an absolute beast. It's not taking any damage. Oh, wait. There's a, a booster over there. I might be able to get it. Let's see if I can navigate. Oh, great. We lost a bit of the sled. No. All right. We're still going, though, which is really good because normally my uh, wooden plank that I had before would have probably busted after hitting a rock. Oh, great. We're heading straight for the rocks. Doge. It's still good. It's still good. I don't know if I'm actually able to go any further, though. I need to get, like, a, a boost off of the side. Come on, sled. You can do this. Okay, we're making some momentum. I don't know how, but we're gaining speed. All right, this is the, uh, the bit where we drop off of the side. Let's see if I can make it further than I did before. Oh, right. This is not where I was at before. This is a really dangerous area. The good thing is, I don't think you actually take damage from hitting the sides. But we got stuck in the uh, the pit of snow. That was actually a really good run. I'm going to buy one of these boosters. Uh, I think I can get just the basic one for 500. Uh, the trail. I don't think I'm going to get the trail. Uh, let's see. The armor... I don't have enough for that either. So let's just see what this booster does. So here we go. We're going to go again. I've got, I think it's like a, a huge like soda bottle on the back of my uh, sled here. So when I need to, I can use it. I don't know where I would need to use a boost though. Maybe here? I'm stuck upside down though. So let's see if I can get straight and then I'll try and use the boost. Okay, so I'm making it pretty far here. I've made it past the uh, the houses, and it seems to be pretty open, except for these plants. Hopefully, they don't do damage to my sled. It's only got 34% durability, but it looks like it, this is a pretty open area, which is really nice, because I can get some major distance. Wait, what is this? What What is happening here? All right. Oh, we got so much speed. We're going 300 miles per hour. Doge, watch out for the trees. Oh, no, we're heading straight for those two trees. Ow. Okay, well, that's definitely a new record. I almost made it to the cave. I got $5,000 in that run. That is crazy. Can I buy a new sled? Oh, I need 6000 for the next sled. Uh, so, you know what? I might buy some armor. Because I can buy pillows... Which uh, give you 200 armor, which is like 50 more than what I've got. So I'm going to do another run here. I want to get a new sled. Uh, these boosters, I really don't like the boosters. They don't do anything, it seems like. So I'm going to stop buying them. I'm going to like only buy like the new sleds and the, uh, the armor. Because that's definitely the, uh, the best thing they have. Now, uh, I've run out of the, uh, the life booster. Which, uh, I still have no idea what that actually does. Maybe it gives you, like, extra, like, durability? Maybe that's what it does. Because the sled's kind of taking a little bit more damage than it did normally. So that might be what the, uh, the times 2 health is. So I might buy it again. The times 2 money is still good for another 12 minutes. So that's definitely going to be really helpful. Uh, now, this is a really good spot to be, because uh, there's not too many obstacles to dodge. 
The only thing is, we've got all these trees and houses up ahead. Hopefully I don't hit this tree. There we go. I made it past. But I need to go through this uh, little opening here. Where does this actually lead? This is an interesting spot. Do not get stuck. No, are we going to get stuck here? Come on, Doge. You can make it. We're slowly making it. No, we're not. We're going backwards. No, it kicked me out. That was going really well. I think that might be a spot where you could use the booster. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the brand new sled here. Test this one out. See how good this is. Here we go. Let's try out our brand new sled here. Okay, so I found a new area here. I went down this hole. I have no idea where it leads, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of obstacles in here. I've still got 63% health. Oh, great. Right. Does this dump me out in that big bowl? Uh, oh, yeah. It's like right underneath it. Okay, so this is, I think, a, uh, a new personal best here. Let's see how far I can make it. There's actually not a lot of obstacles around here, which is really good. Uh, as long as I don't hit any trees. Oh, great. Really? I hit the one tree. No, 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 not that one. No! My sled. Oh, great. I made it like 10,000 meters as well. Oh, I got a badge as well, which is really cool. So I've got $10,000. I think I need 11,000 to get the next sled. So I need a, uh, a little bit more money and then I should be able to get the next sled. I've run out of all of my boosters, so I'm no longer getting the times two money anymore. So we'll see how much money I can make. But the, uh, the first bit here, they throw like so many obstacles at you that you take so much damage. By the time you get to like the later bits, you don't have enough health to get past it. Because there's actually not a lot of stuff. Like later on in the level, there's really not that many obstacles. It's very open. This bit has got, I think, the like, most obstacles out of the entire course that I've seen so far. I have no... What? How did I take damage there? I don't even know how that happened. Somehow I took damage. But this bit is the uh, the most complicated part of the entire run. If you can get past this bit with a good amount of health, then you can make it pretty far. But I think I'm going to end this run. It's not going very well. Uh, I've almost got enough money. So I'm going to do one more ride. And then I should be able to get the amount of money that I need. Okay, so I've managed to get down into the, uh, the tunnel again here. Uh, I've got 75% health left on my couch. I really do not like the couch. It is not the best sled. It kind of has a mind of its own. It goes in all kinds of weird directions. It gets stuck on everything. And it's uh, very difficult to steer as well. The other sleds, you can easily like maneuver them around. This one, it doesn't turn at all. It, it only goes where it wants to go. Oh no, am I going to get stuck here? No, and I don't have my booster either to get out. I think this is going to be the end of the run. Uh, but this is definitely the uh, the furthest I've been, that area right there. Now, one of the things I'm interested to see is what if you go to the summer map? Alright, so I've just come into the summer map here. I think I have all the same upgrades. Yeah, I've got everything. I've got $5,000, which is... Not enough to get me another sled. The next sled is, what, 15,000? Really? I actually want to downgrade my sled. Like, I, I like this one. This is my favorite sled out of all of them. But it's like the cheaper one. Like, is there a, there's a banana sled? There's like this little, like, rowboat that you can get. That's probably a pretty good one. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about was possibly buying, like, one of these Game Pass ones. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think I'm just going to use like the base game items. Uh, the next best thing I could probably get is some better armor. That's 9,000. So I'm about halfway there uh, to get that. Let's see how this map is. Oh, this map is so much easier. Look at this. There's like nothing around here. I still can't steer the couch at all. Uh, but... This map seems to be way easier than the other one. There's like no obstacles anywhere. This is probably a really good way of making easy money. Let's see how far I can get. I don't remember. 
Okay, those lamp poles destroy your sled. Like, it just destroyed my pillow. Uh, so I'm not really sure, uh, how far I actually made it in the snow map. But I'm interested to see how far I can make it on this one. It looks like once we get out of the city here, we go into the desert. So here we go. Let's guide ourselves over this way. Can I actually use my boost? I upgraded my booster because it was fairly cheap. Oh, no. No. Okay, that actually didn't do that much damage. I lost my pillows. And I lost one of my uh, skis. Wait, what happens here? Do we go in the water? Uh, yeah, we're going underwater. This is interesting. Oh, right. Does that do damage? Oh, it definitely does damage. Wait, there's a, a booster over there. But sadly, I don't have my own booster to uh, guide me in that direction. No, it kicked me out. Alright, let me try that again. Okay, so I've got enough money now to where I can actually buy the brand new wood armor for my sled. So here we go. Let's do the uh, final run of the episode here with my brand new wood. I'm back on the, uh, the snow map here uh, to end it. Uh, the summer map is cool, but uh, you definitely can't get as far as you can on the, uh, the snow map. Because there's a lot of bits where you just get stuck very easily. That's one of the things I did find about the uh, the summer map. There's less obstacles, but, but there's a lot of parts in that where you get really slow. Oh, can I finally go in the water? Oh, I finally got in the water. Yes. Uh, now let's hope the uh, the couch doesn't mess this up because uh, this is a uh, a really difficult place to go. This is the uh, the first time I've ever been able to go underwater. And it allows you to skip a big part of the level, it looks like. Look at how far this goes. Uh, it looks like it takes you straight out into the, uh, the snowy area. Oh, wow, it takes you past the, uh, the snowy mountains. Oh, not the tree, not the tree. Oh, good, the skis are gone. I don't like the skis. The skis hit, like, everything. But we're going so slow, and I don't have my booster either. See, this is what happens on the summer map all the time, is you get stuck in little bits like that. But that's going to be it for today. This is definitely a really fun game. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description if you want to play a Sled Simulator here. But that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go in and the episode here. Just make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.